Hello everybody, Paul Richards here, Chief Streaming Officer at PTZ Optics, here with Steve Barrera. Steve is our integration manager. He helps integrators work with custom projects, cutting custom cables, and we've actually just worked on a Crestron control panel project we wanted to show you guys. Right. Um, so Steve, let's take a look at your camera there and uh, show, show everybody the cables that we have, so, uh, we're using for connection. Sure. So here we just have a PTC optics camera uh, and a control cable that comes with every camera. Um, and what I'm doing here is extending the control um, cable to a Crestron processor. And I'm doing that by uh, the Visca cable that it comes with extended by DB9 to a, a five pin Phoenix screw terminal. Let's zoom in on that really quickly because we're going to show a couple pictures in a second here. But that's a DB9 extender to a Phoenix connector that is specifically for Crestron, correct? Correct. So let's show the Crestron here and just kind of walk us through what we're looking at. Okay, so you are looking at the DMPS processor there made by Crestron. And in the back of it, it has a screw terminal for uh, control uh, for RS-232. And we just plug, plug that in after extending the, uh, the Visca cable. Yep. So there's the back of the camera here. You can see the 8-pin, um, that's called 8-pin uh, Visca connection. Right. Um, and then that goes from, you're extending that over DB9 because that cable that comes with the camera is only like 6 or 8 feet. Yes. And then you're extending it over DB9. Right. And um, from there, it goes uh, right into the control processor for control. And then the HD-SDI is being converted to USB with a frame grabber. Right. Um, I, you know, this must have been before the integrator knew about Magewell, because they have like a less expensive HD-SDI to USB converter that's a little better. But um, here is the uh, Intel NUC. So the, the USB is going into the Intel NUC. From what I understand, they're using it for like Skype for Business, right. like right. WebEx or GoTo meetings through a cloud-based system. And then the customer gets a nice touch screen with camera control. Right. Um, so you can see the camera there on top of it. They were just doing some testing in the back. Um, let's show a picture of it working in action. There's a video here. You can see now the customer, a lot of people, you know, the reality is that they don't want to have a, um, a remote control, right? Let's say it's oh, not that one over here. Um, you know, it's a corporate boardroom or something along those lines. A remote control could get lost. Um, if a meeting doesn't work or doesn't go, go in the way it's planned, they could lose, like, you know, they're just expensive rooms, obviously. So this remote can get lost. The batteries could be broken. So what they end up wanting is a custom powered over Ethernet touchscreen. You know, it might control more than just one device. You know, right. The camera is just one of the many things that it's controlling, right? Yes. Yes. Um, so you could just do audio conferencing from something like this, um, camera control, web conferencing. There's just a ton of things you can do there. So um, thanks, Steve. Thanks for coming in and showing everybody that. Absolutely. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. Um, Steve's always here. Steve, Steve.Barrera at ptzoptics.com. I'm Paul.Richards at ptzoptics.com. Any questions, let us know. This is what we're here for. Thanks, everybody. End on a uh, a cool old-fashioned outro, which is because this Friday we have the history of live streaming.